you may need to show a dialog box to allow a user to select files. To do this you can use file dialog object. Let's go to Visual Basic Editor and let's write some code. Right click sheet 1 and select view code. And let's create new subroutine. And let's call it getting files. Let's declare selected file variable first. And in here, let's show our dialog. So to do this, write with application file dialog open bracket. In here, we need to select dialog type. In our case, it will be dialog file picker. And to show this dialog, we need to type dot show. So let's save it and let's try it. Developer macros run. So we've got our dialog. The next step, we're going to write some code to get selected files names. So let's go back to Visual Basic Editor. First, let's check if user click OK button. So to do this, let's write if dot show equals minus one, then OK button clicked, else Cancel clicked. So if user click cancel, we don't need to do anything. If user click OK, let's get selected files names. So to do this, we need to write for each selected file in selected items. And to show selected files, let's use msgbox function. msgbox selected file. So let's save it and let's run it again. Ah, we've got some errors. We haven't finished if statement with and if. So let's try again. Macros run. So if we select, for example, these three files and click OK, we've got first file, second file, and third file. Let's go back to our dialog box. There is one more thing we can do. If we want, we can change dialog title. Now it's browse. We can change this value. We can change, for example, open button to be, for example, confirm button. We can also change default path and let's change it to be, for example, C drive. So let's go back to Visual Basic Editor. To change title, just type dot title. So let's change it to be select files. To change button, just type button name and change it to confirm. And to set default path, we need to set initial file name. And let's change it to C drive. So let's try one more time. Developer macros and run. Now we've got selected files in here. We've got C drive in here. And if we, for example, now it's open, but if we select, for example, file, it says confirm. 